anticipating for quite a while. Uh, I think it was, gosh, maybe E3 last year or the year before that we first saw a trailer for this adorable looking cyberpunk kitty cat game. And uh, earlier this year, back in January, I put it on my list of my top 10 most anticipated games for 2022 at number 8. So, uh, needless to say, yeah, I'm quite excited that it's finally out. Um, this is my first time playing it. I um, have not watched any gameplay aside from just what's been in trailers and such. And um, I've heard some pretty positive stuff, but I don't really know, you know, anything else about it. Um, so, you know, for all intents and purposes, this is a blind playthrough. And um, I'd like to play through the first, you know, I don't know, hour maybe of the game. I guess we'll see where we get to. <laughs> sound of the rain. There's more than one kitty. Oh, there's at least three kitties. Oh, even four. Okay. So, we have control over our little kitty here. Wide interact. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That is too freaking cute. Holy crap. Oh, look at the little kitty cat paw prints on the cardboard. Oh my goodness. Uh, the rain sounds are quite relaxing, although the thunder less so. each other. 
so cute. Rainstorm's over. sound design. I love these environments. Clearly it's post-apocalyptic. You know, this is the ruins of some great city or something. And I know that from the trailers there is a civilization of robots. But no people. I know of. Oh, where did we go? Oh, big jump. Holy cow. Oh, drink some water. I have some of this stuff too. This is the kind of game that has, like, hidden collectibles and stuff. I feel like it probably isn't, but I don't know. But, you know, I want 
wonder if it's worth kind of trying to look around a little bit. Nothing up here. Just keep meowing at me. He's all wet. I guess we can go under here because we're cats. Yep. <laughs> Pretty. Gorgeous. What a lovely environment. saddest thing ever. Is that our friends calling for us? I think it is. Can we call back? Oh no! Oh no! Oh my gosh, I think we just passed out. Oh, poor kitty. Well, this is substantially sadder than I expected. Okay, it 
looks like we've we've woken up again. Uh, we seem to be okay. We sort of collapsed earlier, but I guess we've I don't know. We're doing all right now. <laughs> This is where we just saw that little cinematic. Okay. Nobody answers back. Ah, uh, good. It did not close fully. Under we go. Okay. I guess we can go through the gate <laughs> because we're a cat. Dead city. Spooky. Wow, the environmental design is really, really cool. The use of lighting and volumetrics. Fascinating. Okay. Well, What's all this? What the heck was that? sir. It's a robot, but I don't think it's alive or, you know, functional. Huh. Where are we to go? Can we jump up here? No, looks like not. Guess we'll just keep going. There is a sign that says go this way. Well, I'm assuming that's what it says. Hey, another security camera. Does this one nod at us? It does. <laughs> what does it mean? Oh, more non-functional robots, but help. Some, somebody is watching us and is trying to guide us to to safety. They're watching us through the cameras. This toxic gunk does not look safe. This is where it's nice to have sort of the automatic platforming, you know.
Somebody's definitely guiding us. Follow me. And pictures of cats. I think we might have a cat fan somewhere. Can we jump through here? We can. The gentle sound of the dripping water. These are beautiful, beautiful environments. What's this? This is paint. This is like a bunch of cans of paint. <laughs> that is the most cat thing to do. I just push them off the edge because we can. That's so good. I love it. Okay, um, now we're gonna, are we gonna have to use that to solve a puzzle? Oh my gosh, there's so much more. I should have used the paint to, uh, like, smash through here or something. I don't know how I would have, though. Can we go this way? No. Can we go up? We can't. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Just a little further. And there we go. What's this? 
Is there anything up there? <laughs> just knock stuff off just because we can. Come on. Perfect. Alright. Oh, that makes nice sounds. It's so bright out here. It's not daylight though. Daylight's somewhere way the heck up there, I guess, and uh, we cannot see any of it. Instead, it's the searing light of a fluorescent tube. It's logo about. Hmm. Uh, okay, if we jump in here, can we ride it down? for a while, huh? Oh gosh. It's more of those creepy little things. Look at these reflections. God, they look really nice. I think this game does make use of some amount of ray tracing, perhaps ray traced reflections, because those certainly look These urban environments look really good. More of those thingies. Oh, cinematic time. Oh gosh, there's so many of those little things.
I love the, um, the, like, diegetic guidance that they have going on here, where, you know, there's just these in-universe signs that somebody's, like, hacking into, maybe, to guide us, rather than, you know, UI prompts or something. Uh, can we jump up to there? We can. Jump onto those. No, I think we have to go up this way, maybe. Uh, or not. Oh, no, that's where I came from. <laughs> Knock this stuff over. No, I keep thinking we gotta jump onto those, but we can't. Must be somewhere else to go back this way or something. What am I missing here? I feel like we need to get up higher somewhere. We can go down, but that's not what we're looking for. <laughs> Just breaking stuff because we can. Okay, now this this is definitely got to be the way to go here. But it's like from here where. jump down. Oh, I just missed that. Okay. Uh-oh. Don't do it, kitty. Okay, we're gonna make a little bridge for ourselves. Looks like. Very cute. Us. Is that saying we can jump onto the light string? Maybe. Kind of looks what it's like what it's trying to do, but I don't see any prompts to jump up there. It's funny, even with all the prompts, you know. Oh, hey, check it out. There's another security camera up there. And it nods again. Um, even with the prompts, sometimes it's a little tricky to know where to go, because, like, I don't see any option to go up. Nothing over here. I feel like I must be missing something. Can't jump up on this stuff here. This is like literally the only thing we can jump onto. Can we go 
into the washing machines, no, <laughs> or the dryers, whatever they are. Can we go into this barrel? We can, but, oh. Is that gonna help us somehow? Absolutely. Interesting. It's funny, it doesn't really indicate that that's a thing you can do, but yeah, just a little bit of exploration and you can get the gist of it. Fascinating. Okay, where are we going now? Uh, oh, you're right, I thought this would be the solution, but it has to be, right? I feel really dense here. I feel like you're not supposed to get stuck here. <laughs> oh, there. Gosh, sometimes you really have to look around for those prompts. Okay. A little bit of light puzzling. Solved, apparently. Took a while, though. But sometimes that's the deal with these kinds of games, you know, you just have to learn, like, what you can and can't interact with. And how, you know. And then you kind of develop your toolkit of options as you go through. That looks kind of unsafe, but I'll give it a shot. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. We're all right. Oh. 
analog security camera. Oh, hey, check it out. Like I said, they use the light quite well to signpost where you have to go. Now, oh, there's a lot of light here. Okay, this is another situation where if we want to get through there, we're going to have to turn off or otherwise disable the fan. What's this down here? Oh, we literally turned off the fan. Nice. Okay. Great. And it's like a power plug or something that we have. Fascinating. this thing hmm. <laughs> fascinating environments here eh? look at there's some keys up there okay oh there's one up there and we gave ourselves a route up that's nice <laughs> it's all 
circuit boards and hard drives up there too. Uh oh. Oh no, the hard drive fell on the kitty. Now it's just gotta slowly slide it down the wall. Okay. Uh, looks like we have one more to go. Oh, check it out. It's one of the good luck cats, the waving cats. Sadly, these keyboards don't make nice sounds. They're all full size. This one's got some fun colored keycaps on it. I love all this old tech, whatever it is. Or future tech, I don't know. It's funny because presumably we're like in the future, but also, you know, it's all old like CRTs and stuff. I love it. Oh look, there's a picture pinned up here of a tropical paradise. Where is our final pluggy thing? Is it somewhere up here. Oh wow, look at these terminals. Cool. We've been up here. It doesn't appear to be there. What about up here somewhere? Ah, there we go. Way up above. We jump. Okay, what's gonna happen, guys? Oh, we've opened a secret door. What is that about? Also, look at this carpet. It's got like a robot on it. It's it's a person or you know robot. Not quite sure what the point of that is, but what did we just acquire? Some kind of part. Presumably for this guy. Can we use it somehow? What is this thing about anyway? Like a creepy pod of some kind. somewhere. Oh, maybe. Are we 3D printing something? What is going on here? Oh yeah, all the arrows are pointing there. Oh gosh, it's like a ghost in the network. It's guiding us. ourselves a little buddy. We did. B12, which is, I believe, the name of the developer, actually. <laughs> Typical cat. Oh no. Did you, did you wreck it? Kitty just wants to play. Come on, let's play. Oh good. <laughs> We're okay. <laughs> Yeah, what is that? What are you trying to tell me, bud? It worked. I'm free. Thank you. I couldn't believe the cameras. A cat in the dead city. I guess it's supposed to be speaking cat to us so we can understand it or something. I'm... I can't remember my name. It seems my memory is corrupted. I've been trapped in the electronic network for so long. I know I worked for a scientist who lived here. For now, call me B B12. That's what 
it says on my exterior. Yeah, I think the developer is called Blue Twelve. I'm pretty sure. It's dangerous in the dead city, but you seem like you know how to handle yourself. Let's get out of here. Follow me. Where are we going? Oh, some keys. That key unlocks the door. I remember that much. Let me get that for you. Ah, uh, nice. So maybe this is going to be a mechanic where we can use this little guy to get things for us that we can't otherwise get as a captain. Very good. Battery low already. Come over here. You're going to have to put this on. Oh, is that a little kitty harness? I bet it is. Oh no. <laughs> Cat's like, no, I, no, I flop. This is exactly what cats do if you try and put a harness on them. It's just like, deactivate, can't. <laughs> this is hilarious. Yeah, cats, especially, like, if they're not used to harnesses, that is totally how they would respond. <laughs> can't. small quadrupeds like you. Is this uncomfortable for you? Yes, the answer is yes. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. I've digitized the key and stored it in the backpack. Yes, I'm sure we understand that. Okay, oh, we have an inventory. Keys, okay. Examine. Oh, I like the little hard drive keychain. I would actually love one of those. We also have memories. Sensors detecting memory data at proximity. Okay. So now we have to go look for B12's memories, maybe. Easy. If you're ever curious about an object, you can show it to me. Or to others if we come across any. Now, let's get out of this flat. Ah, uh, here we go. Let's use the key. Select an item to use. Cool. So yeah, we... Oh. Oh wow, boom, that's bright. Alright, we've got a buddy. somewhere. I wonder if the code could be B12. I don't think that's, I don't think there's letters, so. Um, yeah, are we looking for a code, perhaps? But where? Sadly, not on here.
you could just like randomly mash around. Oh wait, there's another room here. I didn't even notice this. A piano. Uh, oh, what's this? Could this have a passcode on it? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> because I'm an agent of chaos. Where else might a passcode be? that I've actually seen are those ones up on the wall there, but that seems like too subtle. But I don't know, let's just try 0476. I'm not sure how many digits it even is supposed to be. I'm probably like way overthinking this. Was it? Oh, there's not even a zero. So that's not even an option. <laughs> It's one, one through nine, so it can't be that.
turn this off. <laughs> it's a little, little more ASMR-ish maybe without it. Uh, although I'm really not sure what the purpose of coming in here would be. No, it just brings us back to here. Alright. What is going on here? More circuit boards. Push more crap off tables. Okay, there's been two interactables that we've seen. There's been the degree. And there's been that sticky note that says, I hope this works. Yeah, we got that. Yeah, is our passcode hidden in here somewhere? I'm sure I'm way overthinking this. It's probably actually really simple. here you guys I think I'm gonna have to go look up a walkthrough which seems ridiculous because like it's pretty early on like a, got like a movie poster or a is that supposed to be like a Metallica no bluey metallic metal rain is that what that means I agree with frustration. Maybe if I just meow at him. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna have to look this up because I I honestly don't know. I, I feel like we've looked everywhere and either 
I'm missing something really obvious, or this is actually kind of obtuse. It could totally be the first one. But I kind of feel like I've looked... Oh, whoa. I kind of feel like I've looked everywhere. We've been stuck here for a while, so let's... Let's turn to the old internet and see if it can help us. Okay, so I, I went and I took a look, and yes, in fact, uh, just as I surmised, apparently, the answer is somewhere in this room. Uh, right there. <laughs> right there. Code equals 3748. I guess I just didn't see it because of where... Uh, my little guy was positioned, or something like that. Um, and, you know, like I suspected, it did use the, the mechanic they just gave us, which is using the light, you know? Anyway, that's a little frustrating to me, because, like, you know, I guess, I guess I had figured it out, just not looked in the exact right spot, but I guess I'm just gonna have to be more careful in the future, I don't know. It would be nice if the signpost did it a little bit better, or gave you some kind of hint if you're, you know, kind of, uh, casting about aimlessly like I have been. Anyway, well, we have the code now, and I feel like a bit of an idiot, but there we are. 3748. Okay. I want to think that I'm not the only person that would get stuck on that. But... Alright, <laughs> let's get out of this flat. Wow, look at this place. That elevator in the distance, that's important, I think. Oh, way over there, okay. I know we need to go up. That's where our kitty friends are. So, I am definitely game for that, but first, to go up, it looks like we need to go down. Going for a little ride here. My goodness. Look at all that gunk down there. I think that might be related to the, uh, those creepy things that came after us. Oh, someone's... No. Wait. I remember. The outside. It feels like I've been there before. Is this where you came from? I promised someone I would go there. Promised... Who? This postcard, the mural, was painted from it. Let's take it. Gained a new item, a postcard. Okay. Why do I have these memories? How did they get here? Let's keep going. New memory recovered. Oh, cool. Postcard. Can we look at the back? I am having a great vacation here in Montpellier. That's in southern France. I've been to Montpellier. Lots of sun and great people. I think I could stay here a little longer than expected. Signed, Bob. Being sent to Ollie. Somebody. In Dallas, Texas. So that begs the question, are we in Texas right now? And it's got a Paris postmark on it. Um, I see, so this is one memory. Just a little 
cameos for the best. Uh oh, I heard more of those little jerks. What does it say? Safe zone. Safe zone. A little picture of a house. Safe zone this way. Interesting. Oh, there's little kitties on this one too, on this side. Alright, oh, there's the little house symbol over there. Let's head to the safe zone. Oh gosh. So many of those little things. Oof, do not like, do not like it all. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, crap. Oh good, they can't get up here. I don't think. Oh, they totally can. Crap, 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 crap. Oh, what? That was savage. What the hell, you guys? I am freaking not okay with that. It looked like they couldn't get up here. And it doesn't really tell you where to go there. You kind of hit like a dead end, you know? Jeez Louise. Oh, that was actually really upsetting. <sighs> Piss off, you little assholes. <laughs> I'm mad at these little things now. Because that seems like really unfair. Okay, so where am I actually supposed to go here? Oh, okay. I could have just gone through there, but... Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes it's hard to see where the prompts are. Alright, well, they can't make it through there, it seems like. We've made it to the slums. And we've met somebody. Or something. <laughs> something that... We might... Did they just turn on the cat alarm? Oh, wow. Come on. What the heck? Also this music, we got the uns going. <laughs> They're all terrified of our cat. Super spirit. This way. Come on, I'm just a cat. this. It looks like a guardian of some sort.
Should we show the postcard? Sure. Oh, a picture of the outside. Ridiculous. This elevator isn't operational. Everyone knows that it's impossible to leave this place. Well, except the outsiders. But they're all gone now. Except Momo. You can try to talk to him if you want, but he gave up on trying to leave. It's for the best. He lives high up in that building with the orange neon sign. Well, there we go, I've got a quest. Okay, so now we've got a feature that will allow B12 to help us. That's... that's... Ah, that's cute. Rub up against the Guardian. Claim him for our own. Wow, okay. I feel like we're just beginning to uncover some of the crazy stuff in this world, but... Uh, this video is probably already pretty darn long, so I think we'd better leave off here, which is a great place, actually, because it it's kind of a little teaser, I guess, of what kind of cool stuff is to come. Uh, our interest has been piqued, and um, we have a goal. We have somewhere to get to. Um, and we're just about to sort of learn more about this world, but uh, that is going to have to wait for another time, or until you play uh, this game, I suppose. Um, overall, so far, absolutely captivating. Um, I, I, I want to know what's going on here. Uh, I want to get this cat back to his family or her family. Um, I will say there's a couple of little frustration points, you know, like the uh, Pasco thing. Yeah, had I been a little more observant or just looked in the particular right place, you know, it wouldn't have been an issue. But, um, you know, as it was, it was it was a little frustrating. And, um, you know, that bit with the Zerks was, I think that's what those things are. That seems to be what this guy's implying. Um, was a little frustrating as well, you know. But, um, you know, that's all part of learning, learning the game and what the game expects of you. And um, it sounds like a little B12 maybe gives us a little help-oriented feature now as well, so that's pretty good. Anyway, um, I'm like 1,000% down to keep playing this. If you guys would like to see more here on the channel, I'm happy to do so. Um, I might stream some of this over on Twitch as well. Twitch.tv slash the ASMR nerd is where you can find me streaming on um, usually Sunday evening specific time. Although sometimes the schedule does change depending on my life. So, um, But the Discord is a great place to, uh, to stay up to date on that kind of stuff. And both the Twitch and the Discord are linked down in the video description. But anyway, yeah, let me know if you'd like to see more of this on the YouTube channel as well. I would be happy to do so. Well, I hope you enjoyed this first look at Stray, a captivating and fascinating looking game. Uh, equal parts uh, mysterious and foreboding and very, very cute as well. Um, and uh, thanks for coming along on the adventure. <laughs>